Episode 1 of Let's Play Mudrunner with me, Justice Fist. I'm super stoked to be bringing this today. I've been waiting a long time. Uh, if you're familiar with me, you're familiar with my videos, my channel, you know I'm a huge, huge Spin Tires fan. So, uh, this is awesome, man. This is release day. This is the full release version. As usual, we're recording in 1080p at 60fps with graphics cranked to max, and we will be doing a playthrough of the maps in hardcore mode, as I always do. Um, and... Um, that's all I have to say about the technical side of stuff. My episodes will be about an hour long, uh, same as uh, before. And um, we'll be looking at some mods too and stuff as they come out. Um, but the focus, of course, just as in my Spin Tire series, is um, is sort of the vanilla game, right? And, and so the whole point of the game, hauling logs out of the forest, that's what we're going to be doing. So, uh, this is the first impressions episode, so the first thing I want to do is um, talk about the maps here. Like, um, as you can see, there's a progression mode now. They're they're locked. Uh, before you can just click on whatever you want, and and go. Now you have to work for it. You have to earn it, right? Um, and that's okay. Some people might not like that, but uh, I think I think that's a good idea. A lot of other games do it, so why not? The other thing I'm noticing here is that um, you know I'd read that uh, most of the maps were going to be the same. Now, I don't know if they just renamed them, um, because here you know it was the the coast. Then you had the flood. But look, island, flood, island. Hmm. Uh, bog, coast, muddy. Mm. Uh, so maybe they're just named differently. Uh, you know, uh, as I said, you'd have the coast, the flood, the hill, the plains, and um, volcano. And then uh, there's one new one as well. So, so that's great too. Uh, so maybe they just renamed them. I imagine if they re overhauled the graphics, then uh, you know they would have modified the maps a little bit as well. Now the other thing uh, that's new is uh, for the vehicles. When you click on this, see now. You have to unlock them, and I'm not sure how you unlock them. Uh, I would imagine if you find them on the map, that unlocks them, right? But but I don't know that for a fact. I don't, uh, you know, this is completely new to me. So, anyway, we're going to get right into it, man. Um, so, we yes, uh, switch to hardcore, please. Um, and this Proving Ground stuff, that was on the original one, too. Uh, just on the main menu. I don't, I never tried that. Uh, maybe we'll have a look at that in a later episode. I don't know. But uh, anyway, okay, start new game, hardcore mode. Let's do it. All right. First thing I'm noticing, yes, the graphics have got an overhaul. Um, looks good. Looks good. Um, you know, but the, the original spin tires held up pretty good for a game that was three years old, at least in my opinion. Um, so, uh, you know, but this looks like it's got a, like a 2017 polish on it. That's nice. Um, except for the weird lines that I'm getting on my screen. I don't know if that's my new video driver that's doing that. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's have a look at the map here. So we got black and white map. That's, um, I wonder why they decided to do that. Um, that's okay. Uh, they've renamed these to watch points now. Okay. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, especially in hardcore mode, is unlock as many of the vehicles as you can. Get them refueled and repaired because uh, you want to have options. You get yourself into trouble, the more options you have, the better. So the first thing we're going to do is go and visit these vehicles, unlock them, uh, and see what needs to be done to get them operational. So uh, we'll set some waypoints here and do that. Start with the 700. I know what that is. That's that big beastie logging tractor. That is definitely a great recovery vehicle. Uh, so we're going to start there. Now, um, w what are we driving here? Ah, see, th th there's a bunch of new vehicles, too, I'm not familiar with at all. Um, this being one of them. Is it C375? Is that what I'm driving? Oh, we have a, a 469 here as well. Uh, I don't know what that little number beside it means. Three. I don't know what that's about. Um, but anyway, uh, might have something to do with the way the controller works. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so the controls have been overhauled uh, a little bit uh, to be console friendly, right? Uh, so it's a little awkward for me because I'm so used to the old one, but that's okay. So, okay, I'm going to put a utility attachment on this uh, just so I can immediately repair anything I find and, and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any tires or anything that we can put on it. Um, now, I don't know if we can put a spare tire on it, just a little bit of uh, oh, unavailable. Okay, okay, fair enough. So, uh, let's do it, man. Okay, engine sounds. Wow, they really improved on that. That that sounds like um, just straight pipe exhaust, real nasty. I like it. 
That's cool. Very good. Okay. Now that's uh, really loud in my headphones as usual. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Okay, you can see the effects here, the, the mud sticking to the tires too, that's cool. Um, early versions of the original game had that as well. Um, so that's not a new thing, but uh, I'm glad they brought it back, it's cool. It's a little, like, over the top. You know, I've never seen mud do that, to a, uh, uh, stick to a tire like that, but... Um, that's alright, it's cool though, it's cool, so it's all good. Yep, graphics do look a lot nicer. It's uh, just updated, right? I mean, they didn't have to do a whole heck of a lot. My main thing with the original was um, the draw distance, issues with the draw distance, you know? Uh, it would look like dirt road, and then all of a sudden, you know, a big mud pit would pop into existence and kind of catch you by surprise, you know? So uh, it seems like they fixed that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see the further along we go. Uh, the lines in my screen are really driving me crazy, though. I, 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 NVIDIA did an update, and you know how much I love updates. Updates just seem to be a waste of time for me. They, they just break things, right? <laughs> At least they do for me, man. Um, and it looks like NVIDIA's newest driver, great, thank you very much, has screwed up my, res my video codec or something. There's weird lines going on, I don't like that. Um, but we're into this now, I'm not going to mess with that now, we'll fix that later. I also like the way they're showing you what's going on with the physics. Look at the gas tank there. You can see the fuel in it. I don't feel like that needs to be on all the time. Um, it, it's cool to see what's going on behind the scenes, for sure. This game really is all about the physics, but uh, I don't want to see it the whole time. You know what I mean? Like, that can go away now. Uh, but a cool effect, nonetheless. the 700. Now, uh, let's have a look at that. So what do we got? Um, it's got some damage. It needs fuel too. Uh, oh, we want to get these fixed up ASAP, right? You want to be able to use them if you need them. So the first thing I'm going to do, I can repair it at least uh, with this. Let's do that, okay. Now, uh, how many repair points does that leave me in that trailer? Uh, four, 434? Okay. So we are going to need to get some tr uh, truck set up for fuel. Um, where is the fuel? Ooh, it's way over there. Okay. Man, those lines in the screen. That's driving me crazy. We'll make sure to get that fixed up for the next episode, that's for sure. That's If it's bugging me, I'm sure it's bugging you. That sucks. That sucks. It's always something. Um, okay. Uh, so we'll go and unlock these and repair them, and then we'll come through with a fuel truck and get them fueled up. So, waypoints, because my sense of direction is terrible. And the next one. Yeah, that might stick into the tires. I was kind of unsure of it about it at first. I thought it was a little overkill, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, man. Like I said, that was in, in early versions of the original spin tires, and then, I don't know, they sort of toned it down. Um, but, uh, I don't know, it's growing on me. I like it. Yeah, I like the uh, sound effects. They've even improved. I'm, I'm big on the details, right? Like, uh, 
graphics, yes, and physics, yes, but sound too, man. Sound can, can make or break a game sometimes, and so I like how they really <laughs> uh, improved on that too. That's cool, man. E131, I'm not familiar with that either. That's a new one as well, isn't it? All right, let's see what the deal is over here. Same deal. He's got a little more fuel than the 700, but that really doesn't make any difference to me at this point. <laughs> so, okay, we'll get him fixed up anyway. Let's see here. On, you were on a justice, you were on a repair. And it leaves us with 300 points. Okay. So we're definitely going to have uh, one hell of a fuel run to make through here. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they give you a lot of vehicles to start, man. That's That's good. That's good. But this is the first map, right? Uh, if you watched my series on the original, you know it, it It gets hard quick. First two maps are a given. They give it to you. And then uh, then all hell breaks loose and really tests your patience. But <laughs> that is spin tires. Okay. Cool. Yeah, wait, before we go, I need to sit up here. Wow, the uh, water effects are a lot nicer too, look at that. I like that. or whatever floating around not dust but like pollen or whatever that's that's a nice touch man it's those little details that I, the attention to detail in the original spin tires that I really liked and I see that they they stayed true to that that's that's great that's awesome that pleases me if you couldn't tell I feel like this is going to be a job for a here. They switched uh, the positioning of the shifter a little bit, which is messing with me a little bit. Um, that's okay, man. That's just a matter of just getting lots of playtime and getting used to it, you know? And the water really pushes you now, too. Look at that. Um, I noticed that I did some of the challenges uh, last night. Um, they let it out early, I guess, for download. Well, not I guess, I know, because I was playing it. Um, and uh, one of the challenges, you had to drive uh, the semi-trailer through a, a raging stream, and it, it really pushed you along. It took me a few tries to get it. Um, I was like, wow, I, I don't remember it being so... The current having quite such an effect on the trucks uh, as it did in this, so... And that's, that's cool, man, I like it. I like it. It gives you a little more realism, you know. What do we got up here? Uh, the B66. I love the B66. Uh, at least in the original. Uh, that thing could really shred the mud, man. You can't you can't do much with it in the original. It can really put a whole lot on onto it as as far as attachments. But um, it made up for that and just just shredding the mud is awesome truck. Okay, let's see. Uh, change truck. Let's have a look at this thing. Okay, it needs to be repaired and it needs fuel as well. Uh, is that fuel in it? What, uh, fair wheel, garage, utility, tent? Yes, it's got fuel in it. Well, 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 okay. Well, he's gonna give some fuel to the 131 for sure. Um, yes. Uh, how much fuel does that leave? It's 216. I'm gonna put some fuel in here as well. Um... Now he can probably repair himself, right? Garage utility. Garage utility, 10 to 2. Yeah, there we go. So he's all fueled up, repaired. The 131 is fueled up. Uh, maybe we'll take this B66 down the road and see if we can fuel up some of our other machines. Yes, that would be a smart thing to do. So we're going to go to the 131. 
131 and just get out of the way here. to the 66. Awesome, I love this truck. This is a great truck. At least in the original game it was. Alright, so let's go back down the road. Fuel up some of those other machines. He doesn't have a ton of fuel left, but what the hell, man, let's use it. I feel like the 700 is going to eat up a ton of fuel, so we'll do the B131 over here first. <clears throat> All wheels on. True Justice Fist playstyle. I'm not gonna sissy foot around uh, like some people do. I don't care about saving fuel and not spinning the tires. To hell with it, man. I'm gonna spin the tires, burn a ton of fuel, kick ass, take names. Screw that sissy shit. We're not doing that here. Ah, yes. kick around those tires man. <laughs> and the fuel is sloshing around in the uh, barrels back there it's pretty cool like I said I don't need to see it all the time though but um, it's cool to see what's going on behind the scenes for sure I mean certainly they put a lot of work into the physics in this game so uh, it's cool to see what's going on I like it Yep. Touch. Whoa, 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 whoa. That water just pushed us right over. Look at that. Come on. Let's get this sucker back over. If we can. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That was surprising. Man, the current is strong. That's cool, man. That's a cool effect. I like that. Okay, well, we're going to have to uh, start a rescue mission here already. Good. Good. Challenging right off the... right from the get-go. Right. Let's get down there and see if we can pull him out. Oh, yeah. You can even see the engine shaking around in there. That's cool. Wow, that was close. 
Jesus. <laughs> okay. How am I gonna rescue that thing? It's gonna be hard to get close to it. Let's see what we can do. Shifter messes with me a bit. They changed the positions a little bit on that. Okay. to pull that out of there. Right, no, let's just try it here and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know what this has what it takes to pull that out of there. That might be a job for the 700. Stubbornly try one more thing here. Maybe. I really don't like how you have to. Yeah, we're just going to use the mouse for this, I think. one more time, but this isn't looking too good here. No, it's pulling me back. Okay, we're going to need to get 700 in here for this. That's for sure. So... A situation already. Wow. That did not take long. Alright, let's see here. 700. Set some waypoints so I don't get lost.
Derek. Great. Okay, here we are. We are just burning fuel like crazy. Look at that. And that truck's got our fuel in it. We need to get it out of that water. Man. Assuming just like the original, yeah, you can winch from any part of your truck, doesn't matter. Now, I'm gonna go in low and reverse here to do this. And here we go. That thing is not moving, man. What is going on? Maybe, um... I guess I'm gonna have to get right in there. Don't wanna do that. Really. I don't want this thing to wash away either. state of it too, that's cool, that's a cool effect too man. It's all beat up. Okay, this log grabber thing, how do I work that thing? Because it's um, it's like in the mud. Let's see. Motor grab, rotate grappler. Okay. Is that as high as it goes? Yeah. Lift loader. Ah, there we go. Perfect, man. That was a big part of our problem. Okay. Okay, great. Perfect. Now. There we go. Now we got it moving. Excellent, man. Beauty. All right. Perfect. Great success. I feel like this is a good place to keep this thing. This is probably not the last time that's going to happen. That water is moving fast and apparently smaller trucks just can't make it. So Now. Just completely broke the truck. Look at this. Now, uh, whoop. what I came here for, fuel. I guess we're gonna give it to him since. So, fuel, I said. Fully repaired, I don't care about fully repaired. Why will it not uh, feel that? <laughs> what kind of weird glitch is going on here? It says fuel, garage utility tent. Click on that. Put that over there. Are you trolling me right now? Hmm. Weird. 
does not want to give him any fuel for some reason. Right? That's what I'm on right there, right? Fuel. Garage utility tent. It's only 136 liters in there, but still. Fuel up 100 liters. Yes. Then it says fully repaired. Huh. It doesn't want to do it. Very strange. After all that, that's not even going to work. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a weird little glitch. It's got to be a glitch, right? I mean, I mean, why can't it? I was able to fuel this, this, and that's weird. All right. Well, anyway, get him all repaired up because uh, I took a lot of damage from that, and um, I think we're going to keep this episode kind of short. Actually, this is just supposed to be a sort of a first impressions episode, so. I don't know if I'm going to go the full hour or not. We'll see. Uh, so, okay, let's see. Now he needs to get... Repair. So, that pretty much emptied the utility attachment on this. So, okay, so he's going to have to go back to the garage one way or another. Now, um... Let's see if it'll work now. Maybe just because it was damaged or something? Could be. Fuel. No, nope. sound me fully repaired. Fuel doesn't have anything with being fully repaired. Nothing to do with that, but okay. All right. Well, <coughs> seven hundred is not going to take fuel from the sixty-six for some reason. So, what I'm going to have to do now is go back and uh, refill this utility attachment. And uh, maybe we'll take the B66 down to the B131 and get him fueled up, even though the B131 will probably stay there for the entirety of my work on this map, because it's a... Uh, oh no, it's a B... Is it the B131? No, that's a new one, right? It's the B130 that I never used to use, because they're not four-wheel drive. But a B131, that's what we're driving now. Yeah, no, that's actually a great truck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm a little confused, man. It's new. It's new. I don't know what the hell's going on. Ah, oh boy, those weird lines. I wonder if that's coming through in the video or not. Boy, I need to look at my video drivers. That's just not... That's not okay, man. Alright, so back to the garage. So we didn't get too far on that one. Get into some trouble right away. Right away. That's surprising. I expected to just blow through the first map, like, ah, it's going to be easy there, it's going to be just training wheels, man. But, uh, no. That's good. That's good. Another thing I'm noticing is nighttime. It's a lot darker. It's a lot darker. A lot more dark. is going to become a serious issue here. We need to get a truck properly set up for fuel. Not barrels of fuel, but like a proper sister truck. Something that can cross that water, man. Wow, that current. Let's push that 66 right over. That's surprising. I also like the particle effects on the mud coming off the tires the way it's sort of slinging off of there. In the older one, you know, it was um, a little funny. Um, it looks like they addressed that too. That's <laughs> Again, little details, man. Little details are everything.
see they haven't fixed how the truck, uh, or the person driving the truck, not me, switches gears right on the hill and like loses all momentum. And, and that used to drive me crazy in the old one. Looks like it's going to be an ongoing thing. Okay, so that should have uh okay, navigating Okay, well that should have restocked our utility attachment anyway. Um Oh here we go. Yes, okay, good. So we're just gonna park this here for now. Uh and see if I can use the sixty six to refuel the other one three one, I guess. Uh since it 700 won't take any fuel from it for some reason. It's very strange. I mean, we went through the trouble to get across that water, which was not easy. So, uh, better use this damn fuel. See now if that was just 700 being a jerk or what? Fuel. Yep, apparently. Weird, okay, well. That guy's fully fueled up now. Uh, I'll probably just get this out of the way then, and uh, we need to get a proper designated fuel truck, I mean. This thing, those barrels are getting low. It's not really, really meant for that. Uh, you know, unless I can bring it to the garage. Well, it's not going to fuel up to 700 anyway, so, for some reason. So, that's a big problem. So, stop the engine. Okay. So, I'm thinking. Thinking. Gears are smoking. The C-375, man, these trucks are all new. I don't know, C-375, huh. Okay, maybe we can get this set up for fuel here. Uh, let's see. Ah. We'll probably need fireproof exhaust. There's the fuel cistern. There we go, that's what we need. Um. This thing isn't full of fuel either, but uh, maybe we can stop beside the B66 on the way and uh, fix that. Waypoints, waypoints. Need my waypoints. I think we should explore this trail too. Why not, right? I should maybe regret that. Okay, make a quick stop here.
Grab the rest of the fuel off of that guy, hopefully. I'm hoping this thing can make that water crossing, I don't know. It's quite the uh, thing there. Okay, so far this thing seems to be quite the beast. He's moving along this trail like it's nothing. <coughs> like it's nothing at all. Of course, as soon as I say that, it stops dead. But, uh, It's a good thing, because this thing seems to be burning quite a bit of fuel. Mind you, I'm not one to be too careful about that, but, uh, nonetheless, okay. We've only got 47 liters, but it's better than nothing. I'll take it. There we go. Okay. Definitely creeping up on that one hour time limit. So, uh, I'll start making my way to the fuel station there. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to make it all the way there. Um, this water crossing alone is uh, scaring me at this point. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't gone too well any time I've had to go across there. I mean, uh, there are other ways around, but it's just uh, going to cost a lot of fuel and time. Um, I'm going to go for the most direct route. We'll see how this thing this thing handles that. You know what, I'm not going to put any more waypoints in that because I don't even know if we're going to make it that far. <laughs> get some foliage stuck under the teal tank there. You get a little bit of that. Oh, see, it just disappeared. Hmm. Oh, it's still cool, man. Yeah, you, you'd see that kind of stuff happen in the original, too. And, uh, again, little details, man. Love it. Kind of sucks that it just disappeared like that, but at least it was even there to begin with, right? Okay, okay. Here we go. Now, I am going to do this in, in low, maybe low second. Um... I feel like it, I'm, I'm losing too much traction in there and then I'm getting swept away, so I'm going to try this in low second. Uh, hopefully we don't get washed away. <laughs> we'll see what happens. 
my instincts are just to hammer down and get through it as quickly as possible, but I think... Holy jeez. Yeah, that current is strong. It's working though. It's working. Oh, I had to say that. Okay, I think we got her. Okay. Butt puckered a little bit there. It's like, don't wash my fuel truck away, please. Okay, good. We can put it in the low third. Get out of here. Okay, good. The fuel truck didn't wash away, that's great. I feel like a big empty fuel tank is just a big floaty on the back of it, you know? Oh yeah, I didn't put any more waypoints because uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure. Okay, cool. Alright, so we get this up to the fuel station and uh, I think we'll call it an episode there. Unless something goes terribly wrong. In which case, I'll call it an episode there. At least it's not moving. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, we're not just gonna dig holes in here, that wouldn't be good. Which we're doing anyway, maybe a little second. No, low first. What is happening here? Does he want to move? Man, the water looks so much better though, look at that. Very nice. We should just take it down a notch, it's just too... too swampy here, shouldn't uh, be digging holes, it seems to be working better. second in here. For now. Because they're not giving anything away on this map, that's for sure. Look at this soupy mess. Look at this. Oh my god. Ah, there's the fueling station. All right. Made it. <coughs> Excellent, man. Okay. 
Right on. Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I think uh, this is a good place to... It's a good place to stop. We'll fill this up. Oh, I see you filling in increments, huh? Hmm. Do I want to fill it all the way? Oh, that's what I came here for. Okay. All right, so that's going to do it for my... Um, first episode in this new series on Spin Tires Mud Runner. Man, it's um, it's awesome. I love it. My first impressions are this. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's, um, you know, it's it, it's what I was hoping it would be. It's um, Spin Tires uh, with a sort of 2017 polish on it, you know? Uh, the graphics are nicer. The, the physics are a little bit better and certainly the the effects are a lot better too and um, you know because I was worried that they might change it too much you know you mess with a good thing too much and you break it right um, but from what I see so far um, they didn't do that man they stayed true to what spin tires is and it just put that little bit of uh, polish on it that it needed to bring it back up to date you know not that spin tires really seemed that far behind um, it showed its ages in a few places, but uh, all in all, you know, but you know, this is coming from a huge fan, right? So um, <laughs> I might be a little biased, you know, but uh, anyway, um, my first impressions are this. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. I can't wait to just uh, hit this thing hard. So anyway, um, that's going to be it for my first impressions episode. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.